What's up, guys? Um, today's Wednesday. I'm a little late with my cardio, but I gotta get it done before I eat. Like I always say, faster cardio, it's where it's at. So, for everybody that's gonna ask me when is the best time to do cardio, I'm gonna tell you right now, before you have your first meal, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, Belinda Singh, I'm good, thank you. What's my opinion on Josh Lenatovich? Oh, Josh is a beast. He improved so much size-wise since the first time I saw him, which was at the um, San Marino Pro. Actually, his first pro show that he won, I mean, convincingly, there was no, was no competition because um, William Bonac at that show was way off and uh, Josh was spot on so if Josh could bring that condition from uh, San Marino with the size he has now you all better watch out that's a lethal combination what's up King Daniel cardio will be about 45 minutes What's up, Harlem, New York City? Thank you, Joseph. How can I maintain my six pack? Well, first of all, if you have one, that's already a good sign. Because to maintain is always easier than to, uh, to get one. Just restrict your carbs, don't go too high. Find out what uh, what amount of carbs works for you without, you know, getting too puffy and, uh, you know, making that six pack disappear. So it's very easy to maintain. You just gotta, you know, just gotta find out how many meals, how many, how much carbs, <coughs> and then you should be fine. Do I ever run? I tried. It's still too heavy to run. <laughs> Are you where's the flak on the rope? Oh, you mean my shirt? Yeah. That's a gorilla wear. Yes, yeah, flax shirt. Dennis Wolf will compete next year. Yes, he signed up for the Arnold Classic in Columbus and the Arnold Classic in Australia. Damn, I need to shave. This is coming off today, guys, so don't even stress. I won't need this. I don't need no headphones. <laughs> uh, well, this guy asked me, can you send me a hundred dollars? <laughs> sure. Will Rami win this year? That's something we will see in less than 10 days. <laughs> it goes behind me. Whoa, good morning, Michelle. Uh, bye, Kai, I'll, I'll have no idea. You need to check with Kai and find out what the reason is for him not competing. 
Was Sean Ray better than Flex Lewis? Well, Sean Ray's a legend. Love him or hate him, he's a legend when it comes to bodybuilding. He was, in my eyes, one of the most complete, when I say complete, I mean shape, balance, condition, posing. You put all that together, you have a complete professional package, and that's Sean Ray right there. Can't take it away from him, ever. So if I would have to compare Sean Ray with Flex Lewis, I'll have to tell you this. I think uh, since back then they didn't have any 212, so and Sean Ray, even though he was way lighter than most of these guys, I don't think he was ever out of the top five. And I believe that uh, for Flex, in the open, it would be very hard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. New Orleans, yeah. Love to come down here for some food. I'm on a bike doing cardio. Yeah, I love my hair too. <laughs> especially the one, especially the one on top of my head. Australia, October. Thank you. My Mohan. What is my full name? Hmm, to be disclosed. Thank you. What's up, New Zealand? Does Steve Kuklo have a chance doing what exactly? Thank you, Magnus. Magnus. Thank you, Matt Take. I appreciate that. What's up, Scotland? Jamie Janelli. Gordon, yeah. Dal, um, Justin seemed to be taking some time off, and he's, he's, now, he's now coming back. This is what I always say, guys. Sometimes you gotta listen to your body <clears throat> and take some time off. It's not bad, especially when you uh, if you've been competing for quite a while, and sometimes the brain and the body don't see eye to eye, which means when your body wants some rest and your brain thinks it's still okay. I think it was good for Justin to take some time off and just get the body some rest, that's all. Boy, I gotta slow that down a little bit. Whew.
Daniel, ich denke schon. How much mass weight have you gained for the upcoming season? I'm not gaining anything. There's no upcoming season for me. I'm sorry. Uh, Christopher, yeah, he is correct. I don't think anybody's going to dethrone Phil this year. Unless something happens, you know, something unexpected, like Phil missing a date, coming late, or not showing up at all. But if he does show up and he's in shape, the odds are on his side, clearly. I'm the guy you met a few years ago at Costco Arrowhead. Thank you, I'm back. Okay, well, as of right now, I don't remember exactly, because I met so many people at Costco, but hey, I'll take your word, and I said, glad to have you back. Stick to it, my brother. <laughs> he said, Joe, come on, man. You know better than that. Meine Motivation, this isn't ihr, das seid ihr. Die Fans. Joseph, do you know Hadi Chopin? No, I don't know him. I know, I heard, but I, have, I don't know. I don't, I never met the guy. Not yet. What physique do I like more, Chris Comier or Flex Wheeler? Man, both these guys were unbelievable. Flex was the sultan of symmetry, but so was Chris. Chris was unbelievable symmetrical, powerful, strong, and uh, with the great way of displaying his physique with good posing so they were both they both legends so and uh if they, they were both 100 percent they probably would have gone to flex but the flex would have been a couple percent off and chris was on and, he, and we saw it happen i mean chris did be flex in uh if i'm not mistaken it was 2000 but they're both unbelievable athletes Anthony, I don't have a secret. <laughs> There's no secret. Let me shave this shit off. It's going to give me a couple more years. What do you drink while exercising? BCAAs and a little bit of uh, simple carbs. Will Kevin do damage at the Arnold Classic? Well, I hope so. Thank you, Sergio. I appreciate that. Thank you. Do I see the big Rami finish in top three? Absolutely. If he can, if he's in shape, yes. Uh, Toby, nicht dieses Mal. Also, vielleicht uh, im November, wenn ich wieder zurück bin. Top five at the Olympia so far as of right now. Okay, let me give you the top five in no particular order, okay? So don't quote me. This is just the five names that I see plays in top five now, okay? Phil, Dexter, Rami, Sean Roden, hmm. William Bonac. That's no particular order, but that's my top five as of right now. What's up, Manu? Australia in the house.
Thank you. <laughs> D. Wayne Hill was thank you. Hassan, ich habe schon von meinem Höchstgewicht bin ich jetzt schon 25 Kilo runter. Manu, any time, Beto was the man. We will never forget Beto. There's no possible way. If you ask Sanaf, ask me, who are you? I am who I am, but who are you? Where do you think Josh will place in the open? Well, if Josh comes in the same condition as he was in San Marino, then he can push into the top six. What's up, Jose Luis Rodriguez Oyola, Colombia in the his house. What's up, Springfield? Bob Lang. My opinion on Sergi, Sergi Const. I don't even really know who he is. Come on, Kevin, come on, Avian Fall. Hans. Collector, I should say it's 110, vielleicht. A top five for 212. Flex, Ahmed, Jose Raymond. Whew, and then we're gonna go. Oh, shit. I don't even know who's qualified, but Eduardo Correa is not in. Um, maybe Ronnie Rocco. If he can nail the condition again, it's going to be very hard for him because he was already peaking twice this year, so. Yes, Fausto Jose is one of the team men. What is the team man is athlete? Yes. Do I feel Raleigh has a chance? Yes, he has, he must, he has to come in super, super shredded. And uh, some of the guys in front of him needs to be off. That's my opinion. Raleigh has all the size to out-muscle anybody in the top five, top six. But uh, he needs to be peeled. Not only certain body parts, I'm talking peeled from top to bottom, front to back. How do I feel about Nate D'Asher and Cedric? Those are the, this, is it, this is the thing, see, there's so many guys that I can potentially see in the top five, top six, but it's about eight, nine guys that have the potential to make it. But there's only five, six spots. So somebody that deserves to be in there has got to stay out. That's just, that's just the way it is. So that's why we can now speculate all we want. And we can look at pictures all we want, but at the end of the day, what matters is what they look like when they walk on stage Friday for prejudging. That will determine who's gonna be in the top six Saturday night. What do I think about Kevin Laroni in next year's Olympia? Well, he needs to qualify first. So he's not thinking of Olympia before he needs to, he needs to win a pro show first. So, and if he's doing Australia, then uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few guys coming off the Arnold Classic Columbus. Not only Dennis Wolf, they will all be in Australia. So it's not going to be easy for Kevin to go there and just win. It's going to be pretty hard, I would say. But anything's possible, so we'll have to see what happens. Wie viel Fleisch habe ich in meinen Bestzeiten gegessen? 250 Gramm, sieben bis zehn Mal am Tag, würde ich sagen, in der Bestzeit. Viel zu viel, also würde ich nie jemandem empfehlen, auf jeden Fall nicht. Who is, who's your favorite guru? Jerry Brainum, I don't know who that is. Chris Aceto, Chet Nichols, George Farah, or Hani. Listen, they're all established. They're all great at what they do. They all deserve to be mentioned, just like you just did, and they're all good. So, as a coach, let me tell you, 
Just because somebody knows what he's doing doesn't mean he can work with anybody. Just athletes, they're just different. So, because, let's say, just because Chris Ocedo is working with a person doesn't necessarily mean that he can get him in shape. Because at the end of the day, Chris, they can only, and any, any, any other coach can only suggest what to do. But at the end of the day, athlete has to do it. And I'll tell you this, 80% don't follow 100%. So, they, but they're very quick to, to uh, blame the, the coaches when something goes wrong. But a lot of people don't follow instructions, especially in off season, where I believe it's really, really important. So if you ask me who's the best, they all great at what they do. They all deserve to be mentioned. And I give props to each and, to each and every one of them. Why you don't come back? Because I'm too old. Ein halb Kilo ist ja schon reichlich, das reicht auch. Kilo reicht auch. What's my favorite body part to train? I don't really have a favorite body part. Because if you start with favorite body parts, then your body will, it will show. It will show on your physique which one was your favorite part and which one your least favorite body part. So try to make every body part your favorite body part. Thank you, Rock. I appreciate that. <laughs> this is the Mr. Olympia be televised. It's going to be on webcast. Yes, Amazon.com. You can see the live webcast. I have a total new team this year commentating, so I will not be commentating, but I will be on my live Facebook giving my honest opinion on what I see and how I see it. And this time I won't see it from in the room in the back on the screen. This time I will be sitting right in front of the stage, giving it to you how I, the way I see it. Thank you, I'm on, thank you, I'm on. Fausto, I'm <laughs> black don't crack. You should know that. What do I think about Ahmed Ashkenani? Fucking beast. He's a true beast. Has great tools. And he's fairly young in this industry. He just turned pro like a year ago, so. He's definitely a contender, you know what I mean? He needs to work on a, you know, to make sure you balance out his lower body with his upper body. But he has upper body is unbelievable. His back is the best back in the whole in the whole category. <laughs> Why would all these guys say that to me? That I'm handsome with a beard. This shit's coming off today before I travel. So I'm gonna be on a plane today, tonight, off to Columbia. So I'm going without a beard. I'm still friends with old school barbers, of course. <clears throat> the 80s reunion. Well, I don't even know what that is. What's an 80s reunion? With who? Thank you, Aman. I appreciate that. Well, uh, what do you think about Juan? He looked, uh, he took a season off. Yeah, well, Juan maybe, um, the, the thing, the problem with Juan was that maybe he just competed too much without a real break. Sometimes you just gotta take a break. That's just the way it is. You can't just keep going, going like a machine. It's like buying a new car. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to go for a service.
<laughs> oh, WWE? No, thank you. Brandon Curry? He's bigger. He needs to be peeled, too. That's another guy that can potentially move all the way up to the top six. But like I said, there's just so many guys. They're just so close to each other. <clears throat> Phil, 45 minutes. True, true, I'm it, true. Anit Kuna, thank you. Yeah, well, the fullness that you see on some guys and that you don't see on a lot of guys comes from heavy training, you know? Let me give you an example. I don't want to use myself, so let me take, take Johnny Jackson. You see that muscle maturity? You see that, 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 that dense muscle? That doesn't come from lifting 20-pound dumbbells. That comes from lifting heavy weight for a long time. And when you build a body as dense as Johnny for so many years, then it doesn't matter if you don't train for a month or two. Your body will still be there. And that's what I experienced. I trained like a pussy, to be perfectly honest, for years and years and years now. And when I travel, I don't even train at all. So I only train when I'm home. And then I really train like a pussy, to be honest. So, but. That's all it takes for me to maintain what I have right now. And that shows me that I still have a lot of muscle left from back in the days. Okay, that's Spanish, or maybe Portuguese. Yeah, press conference will be very good this year. It's going to be a different format. So if you're in Vegas, you don't want to miss the press conference. It's going to be very interesting. Alexander, no, it's gone today. Oh, Matt, I started doing a little leg extension here and there, but nothing. I don't even want to grow half an inch on my quad, so I'm trying to wear my pants. <laughs> yes, I believe so. Rock, I believe it'll be live. How do I make my coffee? <laughs> the machine makes it. I don't, do the, I don't make the coffee. Do I believe Flex Lose will ever be in the open? I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't believe Kai will show up last minute. That will not happen. Oh, thank you, Fausto. Appreciate it. Thank you for translating. No sugar. No, I don't use any sugar in the coffee. A little Splendor, maybe. Forty-five minutes, Carl. Hunt every day. Cleveland Thomas in the classic class. I don't know Cleveland Thomas. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Uh, I don't know everybody. There's so many new guys coming in that I don't really know. I don't root for anybody in the NFL, because, to be honest. I don't really care. I grew up in Germany. I grew up playing soccer, so football is okay, but I don't have a team, so it don't matter. If I would have to root for somebody, I should probably root for Arizona since I live here. Maybe I should root for the Cardinals. Uh, 
All right, guys, I'm going to I'm going to wrap it up here. Of course, I'm going to say what I always say. Be safe. May God bless you all and make sure you don't do the things that I wouldn't do. Okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.